Hi everyone, my name is Rebecca Stuchetz and I'm part of the marketing team over here at Tech30. I'd first like to say thank you all for attending this webinar. Today we have Alec Viss who will be giving a live presentation on MathCAD 15 animations. We also have Ron Zavilsky who is a solutions consultant for Tech30. And just to remind everyone, if you have any questions during the webinar, feel free to leave it in the question or chat box and we will do our best to answer these questions at the end of the webinar. With that being said, I'm gonna be passing it over to Ron Zavilsky, who will give us a little background of who Tech30 is and what we offer. Thank you, Rebecca. As we conduct this webinar, um, I just want to highly encourage you to engage with us. You'll be able to ask questions and leave comments in the sidebar of the GoToWebinar panel, as Rebecca had said. Even if you have questions or comments that don't relate to today's specific topic, feel free to ask and we can address them in a follow-up email or in future webinars. And please view us as a conduit to get feedback into PTC MathCAD product managers and the development team. As most of you are aware, MathCAD is more of a niche type product uh, within PTC's portfolio. So let's build a community. The features that get the most requests are more likely to be prioritized uh, for future MathCAD releases. So please use this platform as an opportunity to infl influence the direction of the product development route roadmap. We'd also be happy to receive your comments and questions by email anytime after the webinar. So please follow up at any time in the future. Next. So <clears throat> as Rebecca said, my name is Ron Zabilski. I'm a solutions consultant for Tech30. And first of all, Tech30 is a value-added reseller of PTC software products. Second, we're an engineering services company that helps engineering companies do engineering. We do this with the tools from PTC and other OEMs to help our customers make the most of those tools through training and engineering services. We strive to get to know you and your business. We are at our best when we can actually expand the business of our customers and build a community by connecting them with those who may benefit from networking with each other. Next. <clears throat> So the company was established back in 2002. We currently have over 80 employees with more than 50 engineers. Our headquarters is in Mission Vejo, California, but we're distributed around the US to meet the needs of our customers. For example, I'm located in the Boston, Massachusetts area. Tech30 also has small business status and four business units. The first one, of course, is PTC software. Second of all, we do 3D printing and additive manufacturing. We also do engineering services and we have a Siemens software arm. We can provide a wide range of engineering services, including mechanical, electrical design, static, dynamic, and kinematic analysis, design for manufacturability, assembly and 3D additive manufacturing, new PLM implementations and system integrations, as well as migrations, and training for all the services above. Tech30 can provide services in areas of engineering and design where you currently do not have the expertise or supplement your existing in-house capabilities. Next. So as a PTC value-added reseller, we focus on these products from PTC. Of course, MathCAD, Creo, Windchill, ThingWorks, and Vuforia for augmented reality. Next. We also have a broad portfolio of 3D printing companies that we represent. You can take a look at these technologies on this page, and I won't go into a lot of detail here, but just keep in mind that we focus on industrial case uses for 3D printing in both plastics and metals. We help our customers make additive manufacturing become part of their finished product or use it for tooling, fixtures, and jigs. If you have interest in these uh, types of uh, products, please, uh, Contact me afterwards and we can have a conversation about your use cases. Next. <clears throat> so today's webinar is about MathCAD, the main reason why you're all here today. Before I pass the presentation over to Alec, I want to inform you of the services that Tech30 provides around MathCAD. We not only sell the software, but we also provide a unique value-added service to ensure that our customers make the most of their software purchase. But first, what is the value of MathCAD as a software? 
Well, number one, it's the automation or the reuse of calculations. The collaboration, sharing of those calculations and worksheets is an in, in an easily understood doc, document. And the natural math, creating calculations as you would on paper that everyone can understand with no coding or development experience necessary. Next. One of our unique services that Tech 30 offers is the conversion services for MathCAD. Customers often see the value of standardizing on tools such as MathCAD to make it more collaborative and efficient within your organizations. And this will become more evident, especially after you see Alex's uh, presentation. However, one of the barriers to adopting MathCAD is getting your calculations from other formats into MathCAD. We're all busy at our primary job function, so who has the time to bring legacy Excel files, hand calculations, MATLAB files, or even MathCAD 15 files into MathCAD Prime? That's where Tech 30 can come in. You give us your calculations in whatever format they're in, and we'll convert the data for you and hand you brand new MathCAD Prime files. We'll even train your users to use MathCAD to ensure maximum use of the tool. So if this situation describes the state of your engineering calculations, please let us help you. With that, I'm turning this webinar over to Alex to show you the different methods in MathCAD for doing animations in MathCAD 15. With that, Alec, take it over. All right, thank you, Ron. Today, we're going to be talking about animations in MathCAD. Uh, we're going to be talking about when to use them, how to make animations, and how animations can be used and some of their capabilities. So um, the, I think the best way to answer why you would want to use animations is through an example. So say you wanted to look at the deflection of a beam along its axis. Um, when it's fixed at both ends, but you also wanted to look at how this deflection changed with an, an increase in load. So you effectively want to look at two variables. And there's a, one of two ways you could do this. You could either make a 3D plot, which can be difficult to interpret, or you could just make multiple plots, which can be cumbersome to create. But fortunately, with MathCAD, you don't need to do that. You can just do everything in one animation and um, as you can see here in the plot, you can see the deflection of the beam increase with increasing load, which is a purple curve. And you can also plot multiple things. So for example, you could plot the shear, the slope of the beam, and the um, moment of the beam along its axis, um, which making it easier to interpret. You could also look at the movement of three multi-body systems such as this five member pendulum which can make which in addition you can measure the potential energy and kinetic energy of this pendulum over the course of its movement um, as the animation is going in addition you could look at various mechanisms such as this windshield wiper if you're ever curious how that worked um, with animations to make it easier to visualize you could also so visualize optimization schemes, such as this downhill simplex method, where you can see the triangle converging onto the lowest point in this curve. Um, so at this point, I would like to go into MathCAD and show you just how to make animations, which is fairly simple. So right here we have a, just a simple sine wave that we can create. So basically I have this frame variable here in all caps. And all you have to do is you just go to tools, go to animation and record. And then once you have this record window open, you just highlight the graph that you want to animate, choose the range you want to make it in. So we'll just go from zero to 90 in this case at 10 frames per second and just press animate. And this will only take a couple seconds and there you have it, it's done. And you can play that back and then watch your animation progress over time. And if you want, want to keep this animation, all you have to do is press save as and then rename the file and then save it in the video format that you want. Okay. Now there are a few considerations with these animations. So one of the considerations is this frame variable, which is a predefined variable in MathCAD. And um, it has to be made in all caps or else it just won't work. You can't have lowercase frame or any, yeah, any in between. It has to be all uppercase. 
Um, another thing that can happen is if you redefine this frame variable improperly, it would also make your animations not work. So that's just something to look out for. In addition, this frame value variable can only go from zero to 999. Um, that's not to say that it it's limited to that range. It can go into the negative values, but by default, it um, won't be able to go into the negative values. So I could show that here. here where basically if I wanted to go from minus 10 to minus 90 to positive 10, it's just a blank graph up until it hits um, frame zero. But if you wanted to use negative values in the frame variable, then you would just have to redefine this frame variable like how you see in this picture, which I have done here. So you would just go down and then reanimate the, so you can see here, I redefined the frame variable and the function. And you would just go again to tools, animation, record, highlight what you want to record. And then let's say go from minus 10 to 10. And you can see that it's animating with negative values. All right. So another consideration too, is if you have very complex systems, such as that five member member pendulum I showed before, um, that can take a considerable amount of time to, to animate. Um, and that's just something to take into account. Most animations will only take a few seconds to animate if that, but if you're planning on running a whole system with, that can be very complex, it can take um, a large amount of time on the order of hours. Okay, and then also, last but not least, animations can't be done in MathCAD Prime. They can only be done in MathCAD 15. Um, so, in conclusion, some takeaways is animations are a tool that can be help, help you visualize how an equation or series of equations with more than one variable that you want to look at behave without the use of multiple 2D graphs or a 3D plot and just lets you uh, see this visually in a more intuitive way. Um, in addition, it can let you see different mechanisms and how they function and over the course of their movement um, in a more intuitive way too. And with that said, um, thank you. And I'll be taking questions. Thank you, Alec. Um, it looks like we do have one question from Bethany Runyon. And just to reiterate, can a frame variable be negative? Oh, yeah, like I said before, um, you can't, you can make them negative, but you do have to redefine it um, with, as you, as you can see here. Um, and uh, basically, you just, the frame variable is a 32-bit um, number, or two's composite number is how it is, but MathCAD doesn't see the composite of it as a, as a negative value. It only sees it as a positive value. So that I don't exactly know why it does that, but you basically, this if statement just sets it so that if it sees a negative value, then it would just change it to a negative value rather than having MathCAD see it as positive again. All right, thank you for the explanation. Um, looks like there are no more questions in the chat box. So just as a reminder, I highly encourage you to subscribe to our YouTube channel as we have previous Creo, MathCAD, and Windshield webinar tutorials. And follow us on LinkedIn, Facebook, and Twitter as well to be updated on any upcoming events, webinars, and exclusive deals from PTC. Once again, thank you all for attending and have a great rest of your day.